Um, Minister, I do welcome your statement. Uh, I think it's, uh, it was robust and we and people before profit want to express our solidarity with the LGBT community, not only in Hungary but uh, across the world and in Ireland. And given that it's Pride Week, uh, it's very kind of relevant that you know people uh, that at, at one stage, not only in Ireland, um, were hounded, were marginalised, um, and you know, and put into uh, put in situations where. Um, it was extremely difficult for them, uh, but we, in in, in our organisation, um, hold solidarity against these particularly draconian laws that are anti-gay laws in relation to Hungary. And you know, this this um, Orban has um, has history in this. He has uh, has laws against immigrants. He has laws against uh, workers that were there to divide and cause division. So this is not an isolation, and the right, the far right in this country have tried to do the same uh, to um, malign people of, uh, of different sexual orientation. So that should not never be accepted, and we uh, stand shoulder to shoulder with the LGBT community in Hungary at this moment in time. Yeah, look, I, I'm really, I'm really pleased to hear kind of a united front uh, in this parliament on this issue, because this isn't about left and right. It's not about conservative views versus liberal views. It's about human rights. That's what this is about. And that's why I agree with Deputy Griffin that UEFA uh, showed cowardice on this issue, in my view. Um, UEFA have done great work in terms of trying to stamp out racism in football, as indeed have many other um, sporting organizations. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, it is a natural extension of that to also be vocal around the need to protect and respect diversity and minorities in the context of, uh, of people's sexual preferences uh, and uh, the LGBTQI uh, plus community. Uh, and, and so um, I think it was unfortunate. There was an opportunity for sport, uh, while it was under the international spotlight, to make a clear statement in relation to the need to protect minorities um, and to, to express a concern uh, about a, an EU country uh, moving in a different direction. Um, and they decided not to do that because they regarded it as, as a political statement which, which shouldn't be part of sport. Um, I think protecting people's human rights is not a political statement per se. It's what we're about in the European Union. It's the core of our value system. It's the foundation that we've built this incredible peace project and economic project and environmental project and all the other things that the EU does together. It's what it's about. You know, there, there are certain core principles we agree together to protect and enhance, not just within Europe, but in other parts of the world too. Uh, and so when, when one country is passing legislation that the rest of us feel is, is counter to that, we call it out. It doesn't mean that you know, that we don't have a good relationship with, with Hungary. They're, they're part of a shared union with us. But we believe that they are not acting in a way that is consistent with EU values on this issue. Um, and we need to call it out. And as, uh, as members have said, when you walk through Dublin now, uh, during Pride Month, you will see pride flags everywhere. Uh, you'll see buildings that have, um, uh, that have put up, um, you know, rainbow um, um, uh, promotional um, branding uh, all over the place. Schools, businesses, uh, parliament buildings, uh, because it is now part of who we are in terms of wanting to express both nationally and internationally that we value minorities. We don't uh, discriminate or isolate them uh, in a way that they would have experienced in the past. Uh, and we are public about that and that is that is very much part of what the European Union uh, should be about as well. So, you know, I, I, I welcome the comments here. We will continue in the appropriate way to, to highlight our concerns uh, and do what we can to try to force a rethink uh, in, the, um, uh, in the Hungarian government in terms of their approach to this, to this issue and also uh, from, a, from a Polish perspective as well. Thank you. And I just want to commend uh, Damien Duff and Richie Sadler last night on their 
critique of uh, UEFA's decision in relation to the football match uh, in Munich last night. Uh, we're all join, enjoying the football over the last uh, 11 days, but UEFA's decision um, for what they done uh, last night uh, was unforgivable and it was spineless in regards to uh, standing up for human rights, as the Minister said. Um, and at this particular juncture, when people are coming together in football terms, they have uh, shown kind of uh, the kind of the lack of solidarity for people that are trying to uh, get the basic of human rights in Hungary. Yeah, no, look, I, I think um, you know, I, I think we're uh, we have a shared view on this issue. Uh, it's strong. Um, I think Ireland, in many ways, over the last decade in particular, has has really opened up a debate and a discussion that has been inclusive, it's been generous, it's been progressive um, and, um, and I think uh, we have an obligation to try to ensure that that kind of inclusive discussion also happens in other parts of the world and if necessary in other parts of the European Union too. Um, so that people's concerns and anxieties and perspectives uh, can, can change and people can get the reassurance they need to, to change their approach on this issue. So I think, I think on the one hand, yes, we need to talk to other uh, EU countries and to EU institutions around how the EU responds to the legislation that's being passed in, in Hungary. Uh, but I think we've also got to, to work to try to, to build a conversation of, of tolerance in, in, in countries that, that feel the need to pass legislation like this. Because, you know, we've in many ways through our history we've managed to move to a much more generous and, pot uh, and, and modern and tolerant and inclusive space. Um, and the country is the better for it. Uh, and uh, we should be encouraging uh, a similar pathway for, um, for other countries that, um, that have yet to make that journey. Thanks, Minister.